A person or group column is great if you want to perhaps assign a person to a number of documents. If I go to add column, I'm going to choose person and I might put the name responsible. So I'm going to make one person responsible for each document. This person is responsible for the accuracy and completion of this document. Oops. And we have a spell checker which is great as well, just right click. So it's a personal group type of column. I'm not going to select groups. I'm going to choose more options. I don't want multiple selections. Only one person is responsible for a particular document. It is required that it be filled in, and I'm going to click Save. Eventually, I'll actually see the column responsible. And then I'll be able to say who is responsible for each document. So for example, I'm going to select more than one document. And I'm going to go into the details pane. And I'm going to make a person responsible for these five documents. The person responsible, I'm going to click here and start typing that person's name. So I'll put my name. Because I'm a member of the SharePoint site, I, I can be added to these documents. And I'll click Save. And now I'm going to make somebody else responsible for the remaining documents. So I'm just going to unselect all. Oops. And I'll choose this document and the remaining documents. I'll go into the details pane. I'll go down to responsible and I'll put one of my learners in charge of those documents. And I'll choose learner 2. I'll then scroll down and click save. And now I've assigned that particular learner to those five documents. So then I can cl simply close the details pane and here I can see who's responsible for each document. And that's an example of a person and group column adding extra metadata to this particular document library. I can also see that my all documents has got an asterisk to the right, which means that this view has changed. I'm going to click all documents and I'm going to save this view as its current name by clicking save. And that will just save my changes to this view all documents so that I don't lose the fact that I've created these columns.